Hey, I found a bunch of videos of Koroks being tortured and I'm going to make a tier list for it. Psych! I actually made two tier lists. The first one is how likely the Korok is to survive. The second one is how unique and diabolical it is. Let's begin. So we're actually starting off with one of my all-time favorites here. There's been a lot of crucifixion ones going around, but I think out of all of them, this has to be the best one. Above the chasm, back to hell, on fire, all around great. That Korok's heading to the hospital. And in terms of uniqueness, I'm going to give this an A. One of the better crucifixions. Okay, so I think this one is actually a James Bond reference. I do like it, but I think there just needs to be a little bit more. A few lasers will put you in the hospital, but I'm going to give this a C. This one here is a little bit silly. Everything seems kind of normal until the Korok predicts its own death. Korok will be a little bit bruised up and sad here. And although I did enjoy the coincidental nature of the Korok for seeing its own death, it wasn't planned. D tier. Alright, so this one is a pretty standard Korok in a box put on the fire, lighted on fire. Watch the Korok burn while you laugh at its tender little body going. This one's gonna be bruised up and sad. And um, it was a little bit more unique than the one before it, but I gotta put it in the same tier. Even though the Korok is okay, there's no question here this is the best one of all time. This is a classic and it's what started it all. So unfortunately, I have to mute this one and a few others for copyright reasons. But here we have another crucifixion. Uh, the Korok actually looks like it's having a good time in this one, so I'm going to put that at the bottom tier. And I don't actually enjoy this variant as much as I do the others. So here we have a Hyrulean take on the classic cement shoes torture method. Not that I would know much about it, but it does seem to get the job done quick and easy. So the Korok is not going to be bruised up or anything, but it surely is not okay, so hospital it is. And although this one is very simple, it is diabolical. B tier. The Korok is going to be bruised up and sad from this one, but something about this is so fucking funny. A tier. Here we see Link taking proper safety precautions by equipping his vehicle with an airbag. Eh, he's fine. Not much going on here. I do love gluing some Koroks to some wheels, but I have to say the first one was a bit better. But I will give bonus points for raising the Korok up in the air before dropping him off to his friend. C tier. Now, this one here is some devious sh**. If you look closely, it's basically a four-part torture system. This may be the first one Ganon wouldn't survive. The combination of spinning while being waterboarded, while being burned by several lasers, while being taxied around on a horse for, what, embarrassment purposes only? Brutal. S tier. This one is a May 12th release day classic. Although they may only be a little bruised up and sad, I remember seeing this on day one. Some sick f thought of gathering five poor Koroks and gluing them together to make a rotisserie while everyone else was still probably gathering sticks on the starting island. A tier. If you look closely at this one, I think the Korok actually lands on his backpack, so I think it's fine. And one rocket is pretty simple, so bottom tier. So one of you guys went out and made a car rock. As unique as this one is, the Koroks are just kind of stuck together, so they're fine. But the dedication and patience of getting so many Koroks together to make a car has to be S tier, with the added bonus of running over that child. So, we're on to TikTok now. The Korok Torture subreddit was running a little dry. I'll be leaving the side panel and comments in the video to give the original posters their credit. So, to start off, it looks like the Koroks are learning to fight back, and by the looks of it, we're all f But for real, there's no way Ganon survives the Korok death machine, right? This little guy is harnessing his inner Gurren Lagan and appears to be unstoppable. A tier. So, this guy attaches a Korok to a piece of meat, to complete a puzzle, and um, in all honesty, I'm not sure why I left this one in here. So the first two TikToks weren't the best, but now we have the Korok Firing Squad, and 
well... B tier. Unfortunately, this one is muted as well, but let me unmute for just a split second so you can hear what I'm hearing. Yeah. So when I watch this one and I see Link just strolling through Hyrule on his horse, seemingly having a great time, with a human centipede of Koroks behind him, shows me how sadistic this one actually is. And then the gloom hands come along and disrupt this player's happy little torture stroll. A tier. Is this what you want? Strike me down, Zeus. You don't have the ball. The cutoff for this one is perfect. I'd say this is my second favorite crucifixion right behind the back to hell one. I'm gonna throw this in the A tier. Nothing special about it, but it makes me laugh. I didn't want to speak during that one, so you could listen to the tiny little smacks of that device hitting the Korok in its supple, squishy little face that stupid f piece of shit. Similar to the spinning crucifixion earlier, it looks like the Koroks are just kind of having fun here. Although it does look like a little bit more time and effort went into this one. C tier. Added some good old copyright free music over this one. Korok definitely got launched into deep space and no longer has access to breathable air. It either needs hospitalization or it might be dead. Though this one is only a step up from the single rocket, so I have to put it in C tier. Had to mute this last one due to the apparently canon Zelda soundtrack that is Romp Zombies Dragula. A lot of these TikToks use this and honestly I think it makes the videos 10 times better. Ending on a happy note here, this Korok looks like he's having a blast, no pun intended. Not very unique, but I can appreciate the amount of rockets stuck to that car. C tier. And there we have it. These are our two Korok torture tier lists. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you disagree with any of my selections, then you can burn like the Koroks. Thanks for watching. <laughs>